Okay, I'm starting another journal page. This time I want to use, I got this uh, badass stencil from iStencils.com. I haven't used it yet. So I thought this was going to be a good page to do it. I am going to, I've already um, just sewed my page here. And I'm going to leave, there's a little knot hole here. And I want to leave some space here that I don't paint in because I'm going to stamp the little owl like he's peeking out from that knot hole. So kind of roughly sketching, ugh, that was a horrible circle I just drew. <laughs> hmm. Okay, let's try that. Okay, that still ain't great, but good enough. I've kind of got an idea where I need to draw or paint around, I mean. So I want to have the background of this tree um, painted in. And then what I thought I would do is color some modeling paste and um, use the modeling paste to do this little tree stencil. So um, I guess I need to figure out a background color for my tree. Um, and I guess it doesn't really need to be one dimensional color. Um, wow, I probably should have figured this out before I started um, recording here. Because I don't really know what color I want to go with. Oh, I know. Here we go. I will do a couple of colors. Um, I'm going to do burnt sienna. I'm going to do, okay, golden um, burnt sienna. And I think I want to mix that with, what do I want to mix that with? Mmm. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and paint all this, and then I think I'm going to do a sponge color on top of that. And, uh, yeah, okay, that's what I'm going to do. All right, so I'm just going to take a little brush here. I'm not even going to use a paint palette. I'm just going to pour right in here. And I'm just going to use, uh-oh. Up and down strokes, but now I've already messed up. I guess I need a wet wipe out. So then I can clean that up. Oh, desk is shaking. All right, I got to be careful about this because normally I just slap paint on, but. I am not wanting to go in that circle. Man, I'm just making a mess here. Uh oh. <laughs> I'm just doing up and down strokes because I wanted to kind of maintain that look of tree bark since I'm using that stencil over it. Credola. have a journal page done on the back side of this so really want to try to keep it neat around my work area here because I don't want to get paint on the underside of that page that's on the other side here
Okay. I... Okay. I'm going to let this dry. Maybe do a little bit more right here. Let it dry, and then I'll come back and do the uh, sponging of whatever the next layer I'm going to put on here is. I'll be back. Okay, just because I haven't used it in ages, I am going to use the Viva Decor 3D stamp paint in copper. And I'm using just a sea sponge to stipple this on. Hey, I don't like that. Yeah, I don't like that. All right, I gotta find another color now. Bummer. Um, shoot. I was so sad on that. I was like, oh, that's the color I'm going to use. And now it's like, okay, that didn't work out. So now what? Oh, okay. I guess, what am I going to use? I guess I'm going to use, maybe I'll use this gold. I don't know why I'm going for shiny on this tree. I just feel like it. All right, where's my paint palette? And I can't find anything right now. Ugh. Here we go. Okay. Whoops, that was probably way too much paint. All right, let's see if I like this color. Not, I guess I'm gonna have to go on to a yet another color. Yeah, I put out way too much paint. Huh? I'm dressed for bed. <laughs> it's the only time I'm ever recording videos, it's either at night. When I'm ready to go to bed, or... Um, first thing in the morning. That's probably way too much. I got to put way too much paint out. And I think I'm going to lift some of this up, because it's a little too bright. Okay, uh, I'm going to use that paint on something else, so I'm just going to move that to the side for right now. Okay. Now I'm going to take some of this modeling paste. Um, I'm using the Liquitex modeling paste. And I'm going to use this big palette knife here. I have a little portion cup that I'm just going to stick. Again, I never know how much of this I'm going to need. Overdo it or underdo it. Every time. Okay. I'm going to... That's probably way too much. All right. And the color that I'm going to use uh, with it is the Micaceous Iron Oxide. I just picked this up from dickblick.com about a month ago. And I haven't used it yet, so... I'm dying to try it out. And I want it to be a darker color, so... I 
I think I even want it darker than that. There we go. Shoot, I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna use a lot of this. Y'all get to spend three minutes watching me do this. That's three minutes of your life you'll never get back. Okay, I think, I hope this is the color I'm going to want. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to keep that knot hole open. So when I do this, I'm going to go all around it. Except for this area right, you know, in that hole there. I'm going to leave that. I'm probably going to have to do some touch-up painting around that after I get the owl stamped in. But for right now. Oh, you know what? I just realized I need to probably. I need to stamp him right now. Yep. I just realized that because once I get that uh, modeling paste around there, I may not be able to get the image down evenly. So, okay, I gotta figure out how I wanna do this. Okay. All right, I need my stamp block. I didn't even take into consideration how I was going to color this guy in. So, I think I'm going to use my favorite Castell big brush pen and just do them in black. I don't want to do this branch. I just want to do the owl. So, I'm going to hope this turns out okay. This isn't looking very good. Yeah, I don't know how this is going to turn out. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? I can already tell that's not going to be a very vibrant image. So I'm going to lift that up. I'm going to take my stays on in jet black. And I'm going to go ahead and ink the whole thing up. And then I'm just going to take my wet wipe here and clean off that branch area so that that does not get stamped. Okay, here we go. All right. Clean that in a minute. Now I can do this. All right. I want to go on the outside. Hmm. I guess I'm going on the outside. I'm 
not very talkative tonight, am I? I think it's because it's Sunday night and I know I have to go back to work tomorrow. Meh. All right. this turns out okay. That was just enough modeling paste, so that worked out good. gonna let this dry. Boy, I hope this lifts okay. Let me grab my tweezers. Uh, hmm. Alrighty. Okay, now I gotta let this dry and I'll come back and uh, finish this up. Okay, so I went in and I colored my owl up with some colored pencils and um, painted the background of the knot hole a little bit, um, you know, so it would stand out a little bit more. Then I had to outline my little owl in uh, white because he had actually kind of gotten buried back there, so. That's what I did off camera. And now I'm almost done. This is, you know, a really simple page here. Um, oh, and this is the way the um, texture, you know, now that it's dried, how that turned out. So I really like that. I like that stencil. Um, okay, so now um, I've taken these thicker stickers and um, just come up with like the little title for my page. And <clears throat> I am going to use some hot glue to lay it down. Um, the thing about um, using stickers and stuff in an art journal, you know, that I found is that if I don't use, if you just use the sticky adhesion that's there, it won't stay down for very long. So um, I've had stuff that's already started coming up and I just started art journaling, you know, like you know, just less than a year ago. So if stuff's already coming up now, then yeah, it's not gonna last very long. So I am going in with my hot glue gun to get this really, you know, stuck down. And um, I did take some walnut stain distress ink and I did go around my um, you know, the edges of these little stickers just to grunge them up a little bit more. So that is where I'm at right now. So if I can do this with my crappy nails, I'm just going to put a little, well, I guess I'm going to move that down a little bit further.
She's. I wanted to have these laid out so that I wouldn't have to struggle with where I was going to put it, but now it's starting to interfere with me laying this out. This is so true, art happens. <laughs> I went into this with absolutely no plan whatsoever and it just, uh, yeah, it just happened. So I thought that was pretty appropriate for this page here. Yeah, I should have started from the end and worked in, but I didn't uh, plan that out very well, so bringing that really close to the edge of my paper over here. Chew, excuse me. Okay. And, like I said, I think that's pretty much it. I'm going, I've already uh, dated a stamp here. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't put a grommet in there. Or an eyelet. Oh my gosh. Crap and allergies. Um, hmm. I know I have like a brownish red. Brownish red, where is it? Is that it? Yeah, here we go. Eh, well. Good enough. I did distress the uh, edges of this tag as well, so I'm just going to take my, god dog it, hold on, I'm trying to do this, doing it upside down, no wonder, okay, just going to cramp, crimp that down, okay, no, I like it over here. Wow, I am being a klutzy you-know-what today. Okay, and... I think that's it. Oh, you know what? No, it's not. I think I'm going to go around the edge with that walnut stain as well. Let's vintage that up a little bit more. like just framing that out a little bit okay oh great I was holding that now I just made a icky mess over here <laughs> okay wow very super simple page I don't know why I was so quiet on this video but anyway here is my page And again, this is just going to be, you know, cinched into a, a binder when I'm, you know, when I get a bunch of pages done. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching, you guys. I'll see you later.